Hi, welcome to Cobwebs and Quartz. My name is Jan, and right now we are going to brew some tea in a coffee siphon. And I know you might be wondering, Jan, why do you want to brew tea in a coffee siphon? Because I like tea, and I like coffee, and I like things that can be dual purpose. And I figure if this can brew coffee, it can brew tea. If you haven't already watched the coffee video on this, it goes into a little bit more detail about what this contraption is, how it works, the different parts and everything. And I'll link that up above and down below. So feel free to pause that and check that out if you wanna know that. Otherwise, we're just gonna dive right into how to brew tea in a coffee siphon. Ooh, flamey goes under here and of course we have the filter that goes into this it's a cloth filter just goes down onto the bottom pull this make that little clip right there now we're going to get our tea in here and I've chosen David's tea Earl Grey all right and on it goes this goes in we seal this and we should see the water from the bottom um, is going to actually, it, it's just magic. Watch the other video, it's gonna tell you more. You're gonna see the water coming up here. We can actually see it already. A little bit of it is coming up. It's so fascinating, it's just like magic. I feel like I need to be like, whoa! Here it goes. So fun, I love it, I love it. It's like a party trick, I think, I don't know. It does really make very lovely coffee and tea, I will say that. Um, Jeanette, my wife, was completely amazed with the tea that I made in this before. And if you're interested in things tea related, you should definitely hit subscribe because I usually chat about all things tea. A lot of times vintage tea or tea reviews and just, and I also ramble on about anything and everything that's going on in my life. <laughs> Look at how quickly that's coming up now. And as you can see, everything's already, ooh. That went pretty quick. All right, so we give it a stir. Get this brewing. We actually don't have to wait too long because it's already been steeping that time. And it's fine that there's still water underneath there. And we pull this off, extinguish it, give this three to five good stirs and wait for the magic. Look at that. Did you hear that? It's so fun. Now we rock this a bit, just to try to break that seal. There we go. And now you actually pour right from this, right into your coffee or teapot. Isn't that great? And I think it makes the perfect cup of tea or coffee. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And until next time, take care. Cheers. That's wonderful.